Hey guys, happy dude here and it's very cold outside today so that's perfect for what we are going to test right now. So in the last video I showed you how cold weather can affect airsoft pistols on gas and I did that with 2.0 green gas versus CO2 and green gas lost about 17.5% in FPS and CO2 only 10%. Now, today it's even colder and I'm going to do the test again, but with gas that is designed for cold weather and that is 3.0 red gas. Now, you guys always ask me where do I buy my airsoft guns and it's right here because I live in Belgium, I cannot uh, buy them on the internet. This store is in Wetteren, Belgium. Let's take a look inside. Now this store is more specialized in hunting material. So you can find clothes here, crossbows, uh, alarm pistols and air guns on high pressure. And of course they also have real guns and ammo but they also sell airsoft clothes and guns. Now here are all the airsoft guns. These rifles are electric. They also have them on green gas, on CO2 and on air pressure and also uh, snipers with spring pressure. The store is not that big but they do have a lot here. And here is where I spend most of my time and that is with the pistols. They also have them on green gas and CO2 and you can choose um, if you want them with plastic BBs or steel BBs or pellets with blowback, without blowback, they have it all. And by the way this is where I bought the famous Don Wesson. Um, it's sold out almost everywhere, the 8 inch version that is. Look they have a new revolver, it's the one from Dirty Harry. That's the new Don Wesson 715. And here on the left we have a very cool cowboy rifle. Uh, it works on two CO2 bottles and it has about 7 joules of energy. I really want that. Here we have the snipers with a spring. They have around 10 up to 30 joules of energy. Some visors. And here we have the high pressure air snipers. And I really want this rifle right here. It has almost 100 joules of energy. That's almost the same as a real rifle and you can buy it without a permit. And here we have the real rifles. All right, I'm back from the store and now you can see what I all have to buy for making these videos. Luckily I have enough ammo, but this is the 3.0 gas designed for cold weather. It's best to use this uh, below 10 degrees Celsius because if you use this when the weather is above 20 degrees Celsius, uh, you can break your airsoft gun. And then we also have some CO2 <laughs> bottles. I always buy them in bulk because it's cheaper and luckily I do get some discount in that store I showed you. First, let me explain why FPS drops in cold weather. 
when you put a gas inside a container and the pressure rises then the temperature will heat up and when it's the other way around when you release gas then the temperature will drop and so will the pressure inside the container and when it's cold outside then it's very hard to get the pressure back up inside the container allow me to demonstrate so we have here the magazine with green gas in it and the temperature of the magazine right now is we are inside 22.3 degrees celsius that's about the same as the room and in Fahrenheit that is 72.1 all right now I'm going to release the green gas out of the magazine whoa no it's cold <laughs> 11 degrees Celsius or 51.8 Fahrenheit okay now that the magazine is completely empty I'm going to fill it up with 3.0 red gas and while I'm doing that I'm going to press the release also just for a second so the last remains of green gas and air can escape Now the reason why I'm using my Desert Eagle is because it's my most strongest airsoft gun. It's completely made out of steel and therefore it's also the most heaviest airsoft gun that I own. Here you can see the FPS of the Desert Eagle but with green gas in it. And now we are going to test the FPS inside, but with red gas in the magazine. Whoa, the FPS went up by 17%. Next up, the Colt 1911 with CO2. All right, we are outside in my garage and it's about five degrees Celsius outside. Let's see how much the floor is. Oh yeah, four degrees Celsius. 39 Fahrenheit. At the moment they are 12 and 16 degrees Celsius. All right, half an hour has passed. Let's see. 
8.4 degrees Celsius. Six point one degrees Celsius. All right, and now the Desert Eagle with red gas outside. And now the cold 1911 with CO2 outside. And here are the final results. The average FPS with green gas inside with the Desert Eagle was 285. And then when I switched to red gas in the Desert Eagle, the average FPS went up to 332 FPS. That is an increase of 17%. And here is where it becomes very interesting because when I went outside the FPS with Desert Eagle with red gas went from 332 to 263. Although the FPS outside with the red gas was a bit higher than the green gas outside we actually lost more percentage in FPS because the FPS with red gas inside was a lot higher than green gas inside. With green gas we lost about 17% and with red gas we lost 21% in FPS. All right, time for the cold 1911 with CO2. Inside, the average FPS was 283. And outside, it dropped to 244. So the average FPS outside was a bit lower than red gas, but we lost less in percentage. And therefore, I can tell you that CO2 is a lot more consistent, uh, no matter what the temperatures are. But if you just want the highest FPS possible, uh, red gas is the way to go. But what is even more consistent is airsoft guns with air pressure. But then you will have to customize your airsoft gun completely. Uh, it's very expensive and you will have to run around with a scuba tank on your back. You can use it for handguns and for rifles and you can even pull the FPS up to 500-600 FPS. Another solution is airsoft guns with an electric motor but this is only possible with rifles. Okay guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and you all have a nice day, bye!